Hey guys, how's it going? We got another war counter video for you today. And we're going to be looking at Doom and the various versions of Doom you might face in war. This is keeping up with our past videos where we have Surfer with New Warriors, we have Uncanny with Phoenix. There's going to be no overlapping offense characters here. We're going to use a team that crushes all the different variants of Doom, minus Eternals and Dormammu. They're new. This will be pre Eternals. You're going to need a different team for them, probably involving Eternals, which would be overlaps. So let's just pretend that doesn't exist. Let's go ahead and jump right into this. I'm going to hide and we can talk kits. And I do have four videos to show you today. Alright, here we go. So, Doom Teams. Doom plus four. We're going to use our Secret Avengers. Now this is super duper good, like many other teams we've shown. We've shown Symbios, we showed Astonishing X-Men, we showed Eternals, New Warriors. Now we're showing Secret Avengers. I hope you see a trend. These are raid teams. Teams that you can invest into your heart's content and they're taking out these super impactful war teams so you get double in, uh, return on investment, which is really great. But let's get right into it. We got Captain Sam. We want everything but the basic. Even the basic will help you. We want him as, as a skirmisher. For Kestrel, we want everything that's gonna basically make all her ability to two turn defense down instead of one, and her passive makes her ping higher. For her, Raider or Striker, if you haven't committed to either yet, I would suggest going Raider, because what that does is it gives you double benefit because Raider does pull ahead a bit in the Doom Raid, at least at 2.3. Uh, next we have Fury. Best part about Fury is he's a kit-based character and you don't really use him in the Doom Raid, so you don't need to bring him super high, he's just there to hit his special. With that said, we don't need any T4s in him, but the passive does give, I believe, 10% extra chance for assist, call an assist in, which is super great because a lot of characters on this team do something as well with their assist attack. Kestrel's defense down, Sharon does slow, Captain Sam, I believe, pulls buffs off, and Maria gives deflect. So, the assists are really impactful. I have him as a healer, you really put him as whatever you want here. I mean, Raider, if he, some reason, gets to use his basic, could give energy out, though it's gonna be very rare he sees his second turn or third. Now we got Sharon. We're gonna want her special done and her ultimate done. Both of those are very, very important. The special increases the ability block from one to two, and the ultimate peels off all debuffs, or sorry, all buffs before trying to land this done. I have her as a striker because that's what you want her as in raid, and I don't suggest wasting blue ions. She does good damage, so it's worth it. And finally, we got Maria. I really want that ultimate to cleanse everything, and the passive does extra healing, so if you mess up and you end up having to eat a doom ult, her extra healing on the deflex, uh, sorry, on the blocks, will be very impactful. And for that reason, we want her as a healer. As far as investment goes, for war purposes, Captain Sam and Kestrel are gonna be your your biggest damage, your most return on investment for investing in, especially if you end up having to eat the Doom Ult and Captain Sam is taunting through it. He can really resist a lot of the charged basic flips from Doom. Fury, again, just a kit-based character. You don't have to bring him super high, just enough to survive. Uh, but if you're doing the Astonishing X-Men Doom team, make sure he's not going to get one shot. And finally, we have Sharon and Maria. I have them both as moderate investments. However, like I was saying, they're using the Doom Raid. You will not regret bringing them up as high as you possibly can. So you might as well just, you know, give them the bigger, the better treatment. As far as kill order goes, we're going to want to kill everybody else but Doom. You're going to see me in one of these examples, kill Doom at a very awkward time. And the only reason I include that video is to show you that this team can be super powerful and just no brain play it. So not big brain, no brain play it. And uh, that's another reason why they're great. But let's try and be big brain. Let's talk important moments. If you're going to fight in reactor, you might as well replace Fury. He's not gonna be able to special. He's pretty useless. You don't really wanna summon because then you're gonna get too many Kestrel passive procs and you're gonna push Doom too quickly. I don't suggest bringing Fury into reactor rooms. You can replace him with basically any character who's moderately useful. You'll see I'm gonna use Minerva, but you'll see that when we get there. Be careful of big punch downs. Like I was saying before, if you push the enemy Doom too quickly and there's other enemies up or you're just not ready to soak that ult, you could lose this fight, which is really unfortunate because you shouldn't lose with this team. Third, and now we're talking about in the actual fights, you need to kill or control any enemy that will cleanse or taunt before Doom takes a second turn. So for Brotherhood Doom, we don't want to get stuck behind a Juggernaut. If we're going against a Young Avengers team for some reason, we don't want Squirrel Girl to cleanse. 
We don't want Emma to cleanse. That kind of thing. And that leads us to our fourth point. Land the ability block. You want to probably ping off the deflex that Doom's going to get from either being boosted or from Blob or from whatever. Do that with Sharon basics, with uh, summon basics, stuff like that. Not enough to push him, but enough to flick those deflex off of him so Sharon doesn't have the block chance. And finally, if you're stuck and you can't avoid pushing the Doom, try and spawn as many minions as, as possible to soak up those basics if your Captain Sam's not taunting. So let's go ahead and jump right into the footage. I'm going to pop up. Hello. And this is all live, live fights. Um, you're going to see another me in the background. You can ignore him, not on this one, but on the others. You can ignore him. It's from War of the Dork, but he's talking about like Alliance stuff and he's goofing off. So I don't want to include that in this video where we're going to kind of talk about the strategy or lack thereof. So this is a, I believe it was a 30k punch down against Doom Marauders. Uh, and Doom Marauders is probably the weakest Doom team. Minus like Young Avengers Doom, which is a joke. So we go in. We're going to go ahead and open up with the Fury Special. And then we're going to take off... The strafe taunts. So strafe taunts right away, right? He gets that speed from being on defense. So here we go. We give deflex, speed, and defense up with that special, which is great. Now we're going to use Kestrel Ultimate here to peel off that taunt. But we know that if we knock Emma, Sinister, or Mystique below a certain point, strafe's going to taunt again. So let's just go ahead and take him out. Finally, I need to control this team so that I'm not getting slow, so Doom's not going to land his ult. The best way to do that is to stun the Emma. We're going to do that some, sometime this year. Remember that in this team, Casual Passive is going to soak up that uh, Sinister turn, so there's no point in stunning him. So here, I probably should have just basic with Maria on the Doom, take that last defect off, but it's okay. He gets it countered off from the Shield Troopers, which is good. So Kestrel absorbs that summon. And now I kind of put myself in a little bit of a corner because what's going to happen now is Emma was stunned. She will not have gotten that extra energy to use her ult, so she's going to use her special. I need to kill her before I put this ability block on Doom and take him out. So we go ahead and we do that. The taunt here is good. You see we have all those deflects. We now have defense up. We have taunt for two turns. If this Doom resisted that ability block for some reason, he would have been hitting to Captain Sam who has crazy resistance. Who had a bunch of deflex, he probably would have resisted at least one of the two of the charged basic attacks, and the rest of our members would have eaten that ult fine and then been able to clean up. But he didn't resist the ability block, so we go ahead and kill him, and this is like textbook clean uh, counter footage. Go figure against the easiest Doom uh, team. So next we're going to look at a Doom Hood team. However, there's going to be no Toad, there's going to be Death Pool, and this makes it a little bit trickier for your X-Factor Rhino teams. It is a 50k punch down in security, and you're gonna see I do something really silly here. I don't know if it was a misclick or if I was just off that day, but you're gonna see just the raw power of investing in some of these characters. So one thing with this team you wanna do is you wanna take out the Juggernaut before he starts taunting. Because he gets the immunity and a bunch of resists when he's taunting, he really is a good tank wall for that doom but there's no toad here so i'm actually open to hit the juggernaut right away i'm gonna go ahead and do that but i don't want to push the enemy team to death too quickly because i'm gonna be stuck hitting doom and i'm gonna push him so instead of doing it on death pool here i'm gonna do it on juggernaut here comes the special you see I'm, i I, had, I have the right idea here i'm thinking like oh i don't want to do too much damage there we go so Juggernaut's actually all but dead. I don't even think he taunts when he's in red like that. The Blob passive kicks in and he starts uh, taunting. Go ahead and we hit the Blob. We're blinded, right? So uh, let's talk about this team for a quick second too. Fury doesn't care about the blind because he's going to open up a special. Kestrel clears it. Captain Sam doesn't care. He won't do the damage on his ult, but he will give you the speed, which is the most important. You can summon with Maria if you want. She doesn't care about blind. Sharon does care about blind, so you're not going to be able to... Let's pause it here for a second. So you're not going to be able to... Uh, stun and cleanse the blob of his taunt by then, but blob will have already used his uh, attack. He's not going to have it. So as you see there, I Kestrel ulted the blob instead of basicing, and it crit. He did 830,000 damage. 
So that's clearly going to push him. Luckily, Doom did just take his turn. Uh, he's beside the blob, so he's getting a bunch of deflects. So I, I need to go all in now. He got 50%, but he had less speed meter than before. We go ahead, we take him up. The reason I taunted with Captain Sam instead of doing the basic, which hits a bunch of times with a clear deflect and called an assist, is worse comes to worse. Doom would have been hitting into my Captain Sam. I probably would have been okay. Anyway, so that, that's just the raw power uh, of this team, and that's really going to depend on the power of your Kestrel. So we're going to go ahead and clean up now. We now have it on autoplay. And you can see me back there laughing about how silly I just was. That is not how you should play this match. I should have just, maybe I could have ulted the blob, get him out of there so he's not putting more deflex, and then could have just whittled him down the Doom's deflex with like Fury summon attacks, Maria summon attacks, that kind of thing, and then Sharon would have ability blocked and we would have been fine. So that's our uh, our second showing. Let's look at the third one. Doom Warriors. Now there's no uh, Emma on this team. Instead they have Minerva, which I actually thought was a pretty interesting move. Uh, so when you kill Cloak, which you are going to kill Cloak very quickly with this because you can't dodge the Kestrel special, he's going to come back. So let's look at what that looks like. And this is a 100k punch up. All buffs are up. This is in Reactor. Again, so we don't have Fury. We also took Minerva instead. 15% damage is a lot of damage. She's just kind of a somewhat useful character I have sitting on the bench for no reason. So I went ahead through her in here. So like I said, we're going to Kestrel special that cloak. Uh, and I'm actually going to try and take out a bunch of people at the same time. Because I know Minerva is going to bring somebody back. Or maybe I'm going to control her as well. We go ahead and hit the special. You see Cloak and Dagger are both very, very close to dead. Captain Sam's going to come in here. It's Reactor, so we're not getting offense up from our uh, Sharon. Probably works a bit in our favor. We don't push it too, too fast. So now we do have a stun up, so we're going to go ahead and stun the Minerva, so she will not be bringing Cloak back. And obviously Cloak is the only one who's dead, so he would have been the one coming back. Go ahead and I basic the enemy Minerva away. We basic on Death Pool. We taunt. I'm a little worried about pushing Doom too quickly, so this was a very example of a good move. We go ahead, we target the Doom with it. It does call a Kestrel Assist in, which is a little bit unfortunate. So now I don't want to push this uh, Death Pool to Death Suit too soon. See, I wanted this to happen. So that's why we didn't target the Death Pool with our Captain Sam ability that would have killed Death Pool too quickly. Instead, we, uh, we did what we did, got the ability block, and now we can take him out at our leisure. So there's his first stack. You see he still has a ability block because of the special. The T4 and the special, I should say. And there you go. So it's a 100k punch up. Very, very easy. You saw just the way the abilities work. Th this team is great at killing dooms. And we'll look at something a little different here, and it's essentially huge punch downs. So... I'm not sure what you guys are going to be facing in your wars. Uh, a silly like, little trap people can put in is putting a big doom around smaller characters. Now this is a almost a 300k punch down. It's an uncanny team with a very small uh, storm and cyclops. I'm sure this person will have a, been bigger by now because of the magic coming out. But this was taken when it was taken. Now they don't have any buffs up. I still have armory up. I still have hangar. It's in security. The problem is, I'm going to murder this team. I'm going to be stuck hitting the Doom before I get to use the ability block, if I'm not careful. So here we go, and of course Phoenix will get absorbed by the Kestrel passive. So I go ahead, I target her. And because I don't want to push too fast, I probably want to use single target abilities. I don't remember what I did here though. Alright, well we're going to go for the defense down on both of them. Probably not the smartest move. We'll see how it pays off. Let's see what we do here. Taunt or speed up would be fine. Alright, so we do have two turn taunt up now. And we took, see, we killed people too quickly here because it was too big of a punch down. I need to be careful. I want to take these deflex off. I use a basic. I have a stun. This will put a slow on Doom, which is, it's good. So he's going to take his first turn here in a second. Alright, so 
So let's pause it here for a second. He just took his first turn. That's good. If he gets 50% speed, he would be ahead of Maria. He would be ahead of Sharon for now. But Captain Sam is going to use his ultimate. We're going to get a bit more speed. Not as much if they had five characters left. So maybe we should have ulted first there. But anyway, we now have Kestrel up. And we backed ourselves into a corner. We killed the two strong members of the uncanny team that were up. So let's see what happens. We hit the basic. And they both die. We might as well hit the speed here. I'm not sure. I hope we hit the speed here. Yeah, we hit the speed. Now, instead of basicing, which might have pushed the Doom, I summon. And I'm going to use non-attacking abilities in the hopes that I get to use Sharon's uh, special. And I do. So this actually plays out fine, but you saw the danger I put myself in by not controlling myself. I probably should have left the Cy uh, Colossus alone. Maybe I should have ulted the Cyclops instead of using the basic and chained two of them. So you see how that can be an issue. Now that's the only ones I have recorded that I haven't deleted. You can see more in the Ward Zork videos. But let's quickly talk about an astonishing X-Men Doom team. Obviously, you do not want to summon, and you can't bring in a weak Fury or a weak Minerva who's going to get one shot by the Bishop alt retaliation, right? That would be bad. Give them speed meter. Jubilee's going to run a train, stun. It's just going to fall apart. So if you are going to use Secret Avengers against that, you definitely want to kill Beast first don't want to summon and you want to stall out uh, to get the ability block you want to stun uh, uh, Bishop along the way by the way next would be the mercs again I did a mercs team where I actually pushed them too quickly because doom might be beside riot guard if that's the case I suggest ulting the riot guard taking him out solo stunning taskmaster if your Sharon's not blinded if not just wait it out and as long as you take that um, Merc Riot Guard out, you should be fine. Keep an eye on Shuri teams though, because obviously that energy could cause problems. That's all the Doom variants that I've seen that can be a little tricky, but Secret Avengers can definitely take them out if you play it right. So again, just quickly, Reactor, don't take Fury. Killer Control, who you need to take out before you put the ability block on Doom. Don't let it get cleansed off. Don't get stuck behind a taunt so you can't even put the ability block on him. And, uh, win. Go out there and win. Anyway guys, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. We're going to have more coming out. Uh, I eventually have to do Heroes for Hire and Weapon X. Their videos are going to be pretty silly because it's basically either you're going to do Mirror Match with them or you're going to do Heroes for Hire or you can crush anything. So I'm kind of waiting for last because they're going to be a bit boring. I might condense them into one video. Let me know if you guys would be okay with that. New anyway, guys, take care, have fun. I'll see you next time. Peace.